Welcome to Mark Reed 757. This is weigh-in day. That's right. This is the third week from when I started over because I uh, had a great time in September. Just so great. It was like gained 25 pounds. Um, anyway, I had a fantastic week this last week. It, it just, you know, I, I really didn't even think about it. I just was doing what I was supposed to do and wasn't really weighing myself. And, uh, you know, since I was kind of disappointed last week, I was like, I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to put that behind me. And I know what I did wrong. I mean, yeah, it was two pounds lost, but I was disappointed because I wasn't eating the way I should. And that's what I changed up and I was eating the way I should. And, uh, let's check out my weigh-in. That's right. 344.1 pounds. That's a 12.8 pound loss from last week. It's amazing. I, I just I couldn't believe what just happened. I, I, I didn't. Ex I was hoping for 10 pounds, but I didn't expect it. And man, I got 12.8 pounds. Just blew my mind. And uh, I did it the right way. I ate every single day because you know in some of my previous videos I talked about me um, fasting for an entire day with just you drinking water. And I realized that's probably not the way to go because I want something that's sustainable. And what I did last week was definitely sustainable. In fact, you know, I didn't, I didn't eat just all rabbit food or anything. I, I had a little bit, just what I wanted and it worked out. Finally had a great weekend. The weekend, uh, I've been every single weekend has just been terrible for me. I just totally blew it up. Well, this weekend was fantastic. I um, only ate when I needed to, and that was it. And I didn't eat, I didn't overeat, and I didn't eat late. And the results speak for themselves. I did go back to intermittent fasting. That was the other thing that I was missing out on. And um, I really love the results that intermittent fasting does because it only allows me to eat in a certain window. My window is usually four to eight hours. I don't like to go past that. Some people do 12 hours. But um, that's totally up to you whenever you think about doing something like that. I did continue to drink lots of water. Uh, I felt like that was definitely a positive. Thanks again from Tired to Train for getting me on the water bandwagon. Um, I cut out the coffee because the caffeine was just messing with my heart. And I also cut out like the sugary drinks, the pops. That was uh, that would also throw me back into AFib. And I'm like, man, I... I really don't want to go through that procedure again. It, it, it wasn't terrible, but it's not something I want to do every day. Um, I'm feeling much better, a little more energetic. In fact, I would think I'd be more tired without having coffee, but I've been staying up late and getting up early. It's I don't know why, just that's what's happening. I'm ready to crush it again next week and continue to working on what has been working for me and just get better each and every week. Thanks for watching. Bye.